your neck. It's irresistible. <laughs> How'd you like to be caught out under the carpet for unethical behavior, Doctor? Well, why don't we continue this later tonight, and I'll show you how unethical I can be. Uh, your place or mine? Mine. We're going to have a dinner party, and Frisco's going to cook. Ooh, that should be good. Dr. Mm -hmm. Anthony Jones to X-ray. Dr. Jones to X-ray. <laughs> See you later. Oh, gosh. Oh, that man is everywhere. And where have you been on one of your dull errands? Mm, I guess my kisses always reflect how bored I am with my work. Maybe I should try that again. Hmm. Actually, you were fine the first time. So what's been going on? Tell me. Well, in actual fact, I've come home to give you some news. So uh, don't complain in future that you're being shut out. Well, it depends on the news, doesn't it? Well, I'm pleased to inform you that you don't have to worry about Algernon. Petros has guaranteed his safety. Oh, what a relief. See how concerned I am about your motley family, the lengths I go to protect them? The relief is for me. I've been so bored with him around the house. I tell you, he's driving me crazy. Well, in the name of your own mental health, give him the shove. Oh, don't worry, I'll do it. Whatever it takes, short of taking the doorknob off this door whilst he's out. That'd be much too subtle for him. Oh, I'll think of something. We'll spring it on dinner. Oh, uh, I forgot. I, uh, may have a dinner appointment tonight. Some important business to wind up. Petros still in town. Ah, uh, Petros won't be a bother anymore, at least not after tonight. Algernon, Petros, we're shedding all of our albatrosses. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? Mm. Well, I've got to go and call Sean. Excuse me. How was your little walk? Twice around the block was all I could manage. Oh, too cold? Too scared. My imagination got the best of me. I saw cassidines behind every tree. Well, you don't have to worry anymore, Algernon. You are off the hook. Am I? Yup. Robert had a little talk with Petro. Seems that they're guaranteeing your safety. You are completely free of the cast as of this moment. Do you mean that, as of now, I can walk the streets of Port Charles as my heart likes? You can walk the streets of wherever in the world you like. You can cruise any ocean. As a matter of fact, I thought you might like to take a look at these. These are some brochures left over when Robert and I were trying to decide on a vacation. They might give you a few ideas. Yes, well, you see, ideas aren't the problem, Holly. It's actually a matter of finances. I'm a bit strapped at the moment. Well, have a look anyway. I'm sure Robert will be able to help you out. Well, I wouldn't want to impose. Oh, nonsense. Don't worry. After your ordeal, you need a nice long holiday. Sybil. Sybil, Sybil, Sybil. Ah. Hello, Sybil, dear. Yes, this is... What? Well, how did you know? Oh, how very kind. Well, um, Sybil, I wondered, uh, is that cruise offer still open? Well, that's wonderful, because you see, I think I might be able to get away tomorrow. Of course we'll give him the money. Was there ever any doubt? Somehow I knew you would work it out. Oh, and by the way, my dinner appointment is now definite. Oh, not too boring, I hope. Sean, Petros, and myself. Dinner, you say? Yeah, just three of us. It might be the last chance we get together. Robert, you're not getting into anything dangerous, are you? Well, I might order a steak and push up my cholesterol level, but nothing more dangerous than that. Maybe I should try that again. Mm. Don't you think that's just a little too passionate for a man who's about to desert his wife to go out to dinner? It's because I'd much sooner be staying here with you. You liar! Can you say that and keep a straight face? I've practiced. <laughs>